This is the video for lesson 42 on my website, Commutative and Zero Properties of Multiplication. This is an important lesson that reviews some topics that we've already worked with. Remember that we can multiply two numbers in whatever order we'd like, just like we can do with addition. In other words, 3 times 5 is the same as 5 times 3. We call that the commutative property. Recall that this property applies to addition as well. We can add numbers in, in any order that we'd like, but it does not apply to subtraction and division. Now using symbols, we can write a times b equals b times a. And in this case, we're using b and a to represent any numbers at all. This is the commutative property. It just means that we can multiply the numbers in whatever order that we'd like. Now here's another property of multiplication. Remember that any number times 0 equals 0. We know that if we take 0 groups of something, which is what multiplication is, if we take 0 groups, we simply have 0. We call that the 0 property of multiplication. And to represent that, we could write a times 0 equals 0. This means that if we take any number at all, call it a, multiply it by 0, we get back 0. Now, it's important to see that this property does not apply to addition. Let's see what happens with addition. If we take some number a and then add 0, we don't get 0, but we get back a, the number that we started with. Make sure that you feel fully comfortable with that. We call 0 the identity element for addition. The reason why we call it the identity element is that it's the number that basically gets us back to what we started with. When we add 0, we get back to what we started with. Now think about the identity element for multiplication. If we have a number a, what can we multiply it by to get back to a? It's not 0 like it is with addition, it's 1. So we can say that 1 is the identity element of multiplication. This is a very simple lesson that just reviews some concepts that we've seen before, but just make sure that you're fully comfortable with these rules since they come up again and again in math. We'll work more with this later.